And Fox and the Santa Barbara Museum of Art are teaming up to bring you a monthly art project. This morning's project is inspired by British painter John Tunard, who began his career painting romantic landscapes, but switched in 1939 to non-representational works. And to take us through it, please welcome back to our show, teaching artist Jesse McCurdy. Jesse, welcome. Hi, welcome. Thanks so, for having me. Great to be here. So what are we working on today? So today I have pen and ink for this watercolor paper that we have right here. And I also have a transparency that we have watercolors to work on. So you've got stuff. You can make one alongside oh, okay. of me so right now. Great as well. Okay. Yeah, and this is for this Sunday's okay. coming project on October 8th from 1.30 to 4.30. Anyone watching is welcome and invited to come and make a piece of art and on the front steps. Studio Sundays, correct? Studio Sundays on the front steps, correct. All right, and that's always on the second Sunday of every correct, month, Correct, the second right? Sunday of every month. And there's also something going on tonight as well, right? And tonight is first Thursday as well, so we have another art activity. That would be a landscape painting, mm -hmm. I think, and that's going to take place in our Family Resource Center. And there's also a new installation that's opening there. There's three artist-made altars that are honoring artists who are no longer living as part of our Dia de los Muertos celebration. So you can check that out tonight as well. All right, and what are the, what's the cost to attend that? They're both free. They're, They're all free. free, all ages, all skill levels are welcome. All right, Absolutely. sounds great. Okay, let's, uh, let's get down to business. Perfect, so you have to start a piece of watercolor paper. And we've taped off the borders here just to give you a little more presentation at the end if you want to sort of unveil it and kind of change okay, the look a little okay. bit. And we're using India ink and pen and nib. So just to maybe dip your nib and pen into the ink. Mm -hmm. And you can draw anything you like. John Tunard worked mostly in abstract landscapes, if mm -hmm. we can kind of find something to call them. Um, but the, the pen and ink really allows you to do some sort of hatching back and forth and make sort of singular lines and then to go back over them and kind of sketch and shade. And these are just, they're fun to use mm -hmm. if you haven't experienced them before. They're um, an artist material that it is permanent. So you do okay. have to be careful with the India ink, but this is the real deal, the right. real thing. Parents at home watching right now, if you want to get your kids involved, just know you said this definitely stains you. It does me. stain. Wear your scrubby clothes tonight um, or Sunday if you're going to go. but. Other than that, this is the only one. That I'm totally it. copying so, off okay. of you, by the way. Okay, so you what's, can do anything. So what's the next step after this? Um, so after you finish, like say you're going to make some shapes or some mm -hmm. other sort of elements on your paper, you're going to move on to the transparency. And we have okay. this treated with a watercolor ground. It gives it a little texture, and it's going to help the watercolor hold mm -hmm. on to the transparency there. Okay. And so for the watercolors, you're just going to kind of go in and spin them around a little bit. And you can do a wash all across. You can kind of layer it over and paint very distinct shapes. And what kind of what kind of paint is this that you're using? This right now? is just watercolors, a little kind just of basic watercolor? set. Okay. I believe these are washable. Um, yeah, the easy regular stuff. Where do you? And then what is the next step after that? And after then after you do you're done that, with you the painting and the the pen and ink, you're kind of going to tear the tape off slowly, okay. diagonally. But I'm not even going to do it because we're not done there. Um, and then tape it together to create perhaps one of these layered sort of landscapes that we have. Oh, okay. And it creates a little sort of second effect. You can flip this over, you can position it however you like. So this is kind of the final outcome. This then, is correct? the final outcome. Okay. But it's really more about getting to experience this sort of multitude of materials right. here, exploring the process, perhaps getting to see the original work of art in the museum before or after. And it's such a good chance for families to work together mm -hmm. and learn something together. And where can uh, families, if you could hold that up a little bit, yes, so we see so our audiences can see if we can get a, maybe a better shot on these. Um, and also, where can we pick up these materials for parents that want to do this with their kids? So this Sunday on October 8th from 1.30 to 4.30, you can come anytime during mm -hmm. that window. If you only have a few minutes to stay, that's absolutely fine. You can do as much as you can there if you'd like to work the whole time window. If you only have a little time, you can work and then take it home and finish it with you there. Okay, cool. And then where can we pick these? Can we go to just a paint store, an art supply store, would you recommend? I believe that any or? art store or any like craft store like Michael's would have them, um, but we order a lot of our stuff online, so I would, I would go to Michael's. All right, thank you so much, and thank thanks so much me. for watching Fox 11 News this morning. You folks have a great day. Thank you again for being here. Thank you. We'll see you folks tomorrow.